UK estimates Russia's military losses since invading Ukraine. UK Minister of State for the Armed Forces Leo Doherty assessed the Russian army losses during the war against Ukraine, reports Sky News. According to the minister's estimates, 450,000 Russian military personnel were killed or wounded in Ukraine. Doherty revealed that in addition to the fatalities, tens of thousands of people deserted from the Russian forces since the beginning of the war in February 2022. He adds that this does not include the number of deaths in Russian private military companies, such as the Wagner Group, as he lacks information about these groups. Regarding weaponry, Doherty said that Russians lost 10,000 armored vehicles, including nearly 3,000 main battle tanks, 109 aircraft, 136 helicopters, 346 unmanned aerial vehicles, 23 naval vessels of all classes, over 1,500 artillery systems. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine also updated data on Russian army losses as of April the 28th. According to military officials, Russia lost 466,000 military personnel. Through open source research, Media Zona, a Russian independent media outlet together with BBC Russia, confirmed the names of 51,679 Russian soldiers who had been killed since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Since Media Zona's last update in mid-April, the names of 1,208 Russian soldiers have been added to the list of casualties. The journalists specify that the actual figures are likely considerably higher since the information they have verified so far comes from public sources including obituaries, posts by relatives, regional media news and local authorities' reports. Since Russia began its all-out war against Ukraine, over 3,400 officers, with 395 holding the rank of lieutenant colonel or higher, have been killed in combat in Ukraine. To date, Lieutenant General Oleg Tsokov, Russia's deputy commander of the Southern Military District, is the highest ranking military official to have been killed during the war. Russia and Poland trade threats of wider war that could turn nuclear. Poland must maintain close ties with the US and the Franco-German-Polish Weimar Triangle must be urgently revived Foreign Minister Radoslav Sikorski told Parliament, noting that NATO as a defensive mechanism would withstand a Russian attack on its members and result in defeat. Sikorski gave his annual foreign policy speech, focusing on the challenges resulting from NATO from the Russian threat, the need for Poland to keep close to the US and the urgency to revive the Weimar Triangle. It is not us, the West, that should fear a confrontation with Vladimir Putin, he said, adding that he did not intend to threaten Russia, as NATO is a defense alliance, but to show that an attack on any NATO member would result with Russia's defeat. In the face of new challenges, Europe must improve the quality of its defense cooperation, including through the European Sky Shield initiative and by exploring other possibilities related to the EU's common security and defense policy, Sikorsky said. Besides, Poland has warned Russia that a conflict with NATO would lead to its inevitable defeat as Moscow threatens to expand its war beyond the borders of Ukraine. Russia and Poland have been trading barbs after Poland's president, Andrzej Duda, said his country would be ready to host nuclear weapons of a NATO member, and Russia moved missiles to neighboring Belarus. Duda's remarks sparked a flurry of angry responses from Russian officials, who have warned Poland that it would be considered a legitimate target in the event of a direct confrontation with NATO. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova described the Polish leader's comments as provocative. As you understand, if the American weapons are deployed on the territory of Poland, the Russian list of legitimate targets to defeat in the situation of direct military confrontation with NATO will be immediately updated, she warned. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said any NATO weapons sent to Poland will become a priority target for the Kremlin. According to iNews media outlet, Poland has hit back, suggesting Russia would falter if it tried to wage war with the military alliance whose presence covers a huge swathe of its borders in Europe.